Should you run brand name ads on your listing? My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of my Amazon guy. I will answer that question in this video. So specifically, what do I mean by brand ads? That's when you've got a campaign and you're targeting your actual keyword like this. So for example, if I'm on Amazon right now and I type in the brand name Momster, I can pull up a headline ad like this. I can also pull up sponsored products like this. If I wasn't advertising on this brand name right now, anybody could come in and put in a bid for my product, which could lead to a lot of other competitors getting sales and taking away my sales, which is a big deal, as you can tell from Sage here. Um, so what I recommend you do as an Amazon seller is always keep an active brand advertisement. And if you have a brand name that's colloquial, that is average day language, you may have a different game plan or result accordingly. Like you might have to put brand name plus something else as one of your targets, brand name plus product, something like that. But if you have a, a unique brand name like I do, you wanna go ahead and set up campaigns that have exact match for, for multiple types of targeting. So I'm gonna go into uh, an account and showcase that. And the first thing I would point out is that the brand name uh, of your company can click and lead to a brand store, like I've got amazon.com slash momster. Uh, if you don't have your vanity URL, I recommend taking action and getting that. Uh, so if you got like a code here or random letters and numbers, you don't have your uh, brand name vanity URL set. Uh, so get that done first. I think that's important. Apparently she's trying to pick my nose here or something. Um, you can get a lot of insights. Some people do like to shop on the brand store. Amazon's data showcases that people that view the store will buy a two and a half times as much product. So showcasing your brand name makes sense. I think it's more of a defensive play. Here's a case example. I've only spent $3 on my brand name in the last seven days. And there's really not a lot of data here. Uh, we're looking at like 35 impressions for the past week on this brand name. So not something that is going to grow my brand. This is a defensive play. So the, the other point I'd make is I don't really have a lot of brand equity built in my particular brand. Many of you will have way more important brands that have built and built that equity. And, and so like somebody's not going to Amazon.com for the most part, except those 35 people a week, and they're not typing in mobster like this. It's really not happening. But no, notice this time on the second time I typed this in, we had a competitor show up on my term mobster right here. So bird site, Mr. and Mrs. Wright, which they sell a competitor product. It's very similar to mine. So they didn't show up the first time, but on the second time they did. So if I was a consumer searching for something for mobster, there's a pretty strong chance I would also be interested in a product like this. Now I've never once been on this product page no idea who these guys are. They don't even have their brand name attributes set. They're just selling under generic. But I could lose a sale to that particular seller because they bid on my term mobster. So that's why that's what the risk is, right? Uh, so in your campaign creations, what kind of keywords or what, sorry, what kind of campaigns should you be building out? So let's go let's go to the campaign creation page. So here's the campaign creation page. On the left, you got sponsored products, middle sponsored brand. Display doesn't apply here. Uh, display only targets people off of Amazon and category targeting. There's not a lot of uh, brand targeting keywords on this one. So in here, uh, let's go into sponsored products. And, and literally, you could pick like your top two or three sellers. I recommend titling this campaign brand terms. Something like that. That way you know like what your goal is for that. You should have a higher A cost for a campaign like this. Uh, in your daily budget, it doesn't even have to be a good budget. It could be very, very cheap. You're never gonna burn through this. You're gonna switch it to manual targeting. Uh, I would recommend fixed bids because somebody typing in your brand name, you don't wanna bid that down at all. You wanna win that bid. And then in, in here, you could just say, you know, brand term. And then you could pick your best seller, right? So I could, I could pick... You know, let's say let's say that's one of my best sellers. I could pick that one, um, and then in the keyword, I would select keyword targeting. You could pick. I would pick probably three to four products to show up for this, and then keyword targeting, and then in here you can enter the list. 
I would go ahead and do phrase match on this one um, and, and maybe, maybe exact as well. But in here, you can see some autocomplete. So, so some people are typing in Monster Wine Glass. Some people are typing in Monster Store. If I just do a phrase match for the brand name, this will cover everything. It'll be just fine. You can hit the add keywords, and you can see that to get a middle, middle bid on this would be somewhere between $1.50 and $3. Uh, to cover it. So that means at least one other person is bidding on my brand term, as you can see from that. So that's that's the sponsored product. That will result in one of these. So this one or one of these two right here. The other type is the headline ad. That's what's going to showcase here. Now, one, one thing I will note, you should have a three product show up. So clearly one of my products I had in here previously is out of stock at the moment or something like that. Uh, so in here, you're going to go into create a new campaign, but this time you're going to go over to sponsored brands, hit continue here, do the same thing we did with the campaign portfolio, 20 bucks a day. Um, I typically recommend a product collection. I don't think you need a video to represent your brand, but it couldn't hurt. Uh, just extra coverage for you. But so product collection would be my preference. You could do a store spotlight as well. You select the store in here and you can select which page to land it on. You can put, one, probably one of the most important things I think people need to do is fill in a custom headline image. Notice down here how there's a section for custom image beta. You can write a custom headline right here up to 50 characters as well as load a custom image. These are really important. It will make the size of your ad three times bigger and showcase much stronger. So I highly recommend filling these out. Select whatever products you want, one, two, three, and then same thing, brand phrase targeting here. I'm going to put in mobster, add keyword, and submit for review. That's it. So do I recommend loading uh, campaigns for your brand terms? Absolutely. It's a small cost. It's defensive. It won't acquire you customers, but it'll prevent other people from acquiring them from you. My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. For more advertising videos, click on this video here as well as our playlist.